Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to another video in the series Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. After leaving the first round of my first major of the second season, I, if you've watched any of the previous videos in this series, I did a couple of rounds, just sort of single rounds on um, a couple of courses that were requested. One was TPC Scottsdale and the other one was Coyote Falls. If you haven't checked out those videos, be sure to uh, have a look at those. If you are enjoying this series, uh, feel free to hit the like button. Any comments in the box below are welcome. And as you can see from the comments from the first video that I did in this series, I have fulfilled the promise of, the, um, of doing what is asked of me in the comments, and I played those two individual courses. Today, however, I'm going to be continuing with my career. It is the second round of the first major I think it's called the Invitational yeah EA Sports Spring Invitational if I remember correctly because it's about a week ago more than a week ago even that I actually did the first round I think I'm on about 11 under par 13 under par first position we are playing the full 18 holes because this is the first major of the season it is at Wolf Creek this is the one that's been put into replace the masters if you guys haven't uh, been following what's been happening with rory mcelroy pga tour since its release and so on and so forth it's been you know taken over from the tiger woods series they lost the license to use augusta um so they've had to replace it with something and they've put this ea sports invitational event into the game it's okay, it's not great, it's not ideal, but um, it gives you a chance to play a major at Wolf Creek, which is always pretty cool. Alright, we're just about to get this one underway. No commentary on this, so don't expect the commentary, because it's there's just so much commentary that I decided to switch it off. Alright, so there we go. We'll be uh, teeing off fairly early today, because we teed off late on the first round. And the wind once again is in our favour. It was beautiful on the first round and it is nice and low again on this round. I am expecting it to pick up a little bit later in the competition. We need to make sure we capitalise on these on this round as well as what we did on the first round. We should have 13 better. I think I got a double bogey in that first round. Always nice to start off with a par five as we can get the scoring underway and let's see if we can get this nice and close so that's going to be about another 12 feet on there so that's two fi 12 yards 251 that's, that three hybrid's going to be about right I think a little bit of wind should be okay needs to check up a little bit Wow, that completely died. I need to press the button and it just, uh, just stopped. Definitely left to right. Let's just get this close. A lag putt. Oh, get the birdie. A little bit more effort and I probably would have got that in. in for a birdie on the first hole good way to start the round and at this point so I want to say thank you to all those people that have been watching these videos and thank you for the comments keep them coming they're much appreciated and if you want to see more videos in the series and get notified of those videos then subscribe to the channel and um, there will be other stuff coming up but obviously this is the one of the latest games out sports games golf games so um, I will be focusing most of my attentions video wise on this particular game for the foreseeable future. Carry the bunker, carry the bunker, carry the bunker. It actually bounced in the bunker. Tried to take on too much of the corner there and paid the price. So I can't really see. Is that 13 feet uphill? 13 feet. Yeah, so that's another four yards. We're in the sand, so we need to go out for that as well. Seventy-eight yards. All 
Right, I think I'm going to play about 80 yards here. Maybe 81. See if I can get this on the green. That's going to be okay. A little short, but out of the bunker, that's fine. Gives me an opportunity at a birdie. too much borrow there. So yeah, any, any more comments you guys have, if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see me do or play, I'm going to get together with, um, try and get together with some of the guys online and play around, so that will that should be coming up shortly, and we'll record that, get that online. But um, anything else, any particular course, I mean if you're you're unaware of what, uh, what courses are in the game, be sure to check them out and um, let me know. So this is two, what was that, two, it's 252. I always come up short on this hole. Wow, didn't hit that very straight at all. Nice to get a bounce. It's never going to bounce in that heavy rough. I hit that all over the place, that wasn't very good at all. uphill and I'm in the rough. That'll be okay. Pick up the park. Apologies if you can hear somebody uh, hammering in the background. There's somebody doing some work on a house in the in the neighbourhood and I've had to put up with that all day today. So uh, apologies if you can hear that on the recording. Spieth and Keimer are my nearest competitors. Johnson, that's the only thing with this, is that you don't know which Johnson it is. Obviously, you've got Zach Johnson and Dustin Johnson in the game. Really odd-looking drive there. Um, yeah, you've got both Johnsons in the game, but you don't know which one it is, so you have to wait for the final scorecard to actually see which of the two Johnsons it is. A little bit uphill, wind slightly behind. A little big. Plus six on the downswing, so probably why. So I over allowed on the previous one. I didn't allow enough on that one. So we're through four holes already and yet to get another birdie after getting one on the first. So slow down a little bit. Kaima's made a move. He's now seven under. I think at the moment I've got enough of a lead to not really worry too much about them at the moment. Okay, should be smack bang in the middle of the fairway. Alright, 51, 17, 160. So take it up to a 9 iron. fast which is giving me that uh, plus eight on the downswing. Mm -hmm. Bit of a headache at the moment, I need to try and slow that down a bit, but chances are when I start to try and do stuff like that, hard enough. that was terrible, but it was for Eagle so can't really grumble. That's going to leave me a terrible one for Birdie though. Oh, too fast again. My God, three putt par. This is terrible. 
thank God I got a decent round on the first round because I have not set this round alight at all yet. Don't know what you're getting all excited about, mate. That was a car. fortunate there because it was such a massive change in elevation it came down quite steeply and it uh, meant that it saved me a bit of bother by not going in the rough right plus 12 that's even faster my god I thought it could only go plus 10 at the most and that's that's going to work out pretty good. I thought from the video that, that we watched beforehand, I thought, I'm pretty sure we wa there was a video that was released from some of the EA guys. They were talking through the game and they were saying that the most that you could go either way on the backswing and the downswing was plus 10%. And that was plus 12 on that last one. So whether that's something that's been changed in an update, I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, that was definitely uh, that was definitely plus twelve, two ninety six, minus fifteen, two eighty one, two eighty one. Oh, the hell out of that! Damn it! That is lucky, that little bit of fairways there. My God, that was a stroke of luck there. Right, 38. Slightly uphill. Didn't check. I think it's gonna, it's gonna give me a birdie. Two birdies so far on the round. Three. Oof, not quite. A little shy. Pulled it back too far for the down slope. We're in for a par. Still eight shots clear. For all the lack of content, and that's probably the biggest fault with this game, I would say, you know, this, visually, this game is insanely good. Insanely good. Alright, so 30 feet off of 263 is 233. We want 234. So let's drop this down a little bit. That is exactly 234. Yeah, I mean, the visuals in this game are incredibly good. Um, they can't deny anybody that's, you know, this game's got its critics, as with any new game, but nobody can deny how good this game looks. I mean, the running water, you know, clouds passing by, it, you know, everything is just awesome. Um, I can't say enough about this game. They've done a cracking job, and... Um, as I've said on previous videos, they have let us know that um, EA Sports have let everybody know that there are more free DLC courses coming um, to play online. That is TPC Scottsdale for those people that didn't pre-order the game. That course will be available to play in August sometime. I forget the date off the top of my head. And then East Lake is coming in September. So. More content to come, which is always good. I'd like to see some more things, you know, more clothing, more golfers, more playable golfers as well. Because, I mean, there are, all the golfers are in there. You know, everybody's in there. Luke Donald, Lee Westwood, all these guys. But um, as playable golfers, I think there's, a, there's about a dozen playable golfers, so there's not that many. 
Let's just work this out. 18667. It's allowed for me hitting it a little hard of late. Um, yeah, so there are there aren't very many playable golfers. There's not an awful lot of clubs and, and outfits, so hopefully these things will materialize in time. I think that's the third birdie of the round, and that is through nine holes. Yeah, I started 13 under, so three under for the round through nine. Let's get into the back nine. Oh my good god, that is the worst shot I think I've ever hit since playing this game. That was shocking. And I'm going to take that all the way back. Wow. That's more like it. So, if I'm not mistaken, this was the hole. It was either the 10th or 11th that I actually got a double bogey gun last time. So I need to get this one in. I've still probably got about two. Yeah, I was about going to say about 200 yards. I've got 107, 184 yards to the flag, um, and this is for par. So highly unlikely that I'm going to get a par on this hole. If anything, it's probably going to be a double bogey because I need to get that putt in in order to get a bogey. So that's going to drop me back to one under for the round. And this one has got a wicked swing on it. Yeah. So double bogey. Hadn't dropped a shot in nine holes and then completely blown this hole to drop me back to 14 under. Hole number 11, par 3, big time downhill. Oops, just pressed the wrong button. Um, 30 off of that, less 3, 27. So 190 is what we're looking for. 189. That's pretty much spot on. Okay, could be a little short. Take that. So we're going to get it in a feet or so. On a par three. Nice. Pulled one of the ones back I dropped on the first hole of the back nine. So back to 15 under. Timer and Spieth playing together today, both uh, both under par. And this is a par five, and this is tricky because you've got an elevation change here, and the, the target area is really skinny. So, really tough hole. And that is going to be too big. And this is the one where I actually got it pretty close. I got the bows. What are they called? Heartbeat moments on this shot on the last round that I played. 241 in the rough, so I'm going to leave that at 248. This needs to come back. Anywhere on the green will be good here. Yeah, I think that's a fair result. That's okay, that's left me a three footer, three or four footer for birdie. Seven footer. I oh, thought it was closer than that. If anyone from EA ever watches these videos, please can you make it that we can turn those goddamn animations off because they are absolutely ridiculous. 
All right, so 296. We don't want to drive it here because that will run us out of fairway. Just going to control this if I can. Don't run out of fairway. Damn it. I always forget to club down two on that one. Should come down to a hybrid. It's not too bad, 93 to 95%, 104 yards, so that's 12, so that's 116 in the rough. So let's play 118. That's pretty good. I'll take that, that's going to give me a 10 footer for birdie. Yes, all right, back in the driving seat. I'm pretty sure that's three birdies on the bounce. I'll have a quick look when this pops up. I think we can have a look at the scorecard. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, three birdies on the bounce after that double bogey. So uh, back on track. I've run out of fairway a few times on this hole, so I've got to be careful here. <coughs> that is probably the best shot I've played on this hole as a tee shot, that is. I'm normally in that bit of rough in between the two strips of fairway, or I go out the fairway at the back so it's nice to be actually playing this shot from the fairway so that's 10 that's a, uh, 10 11 yards let's give this a little bit more it's going to move slightly from the right because of the ball being above my feet i think that's slightly under hit but it should be okay For anybody that hasn't watched any of my videos in this series as yet, oh, I pushed it there, I can see on the line. Um, yeah, if anybody, if this is the first video you're watching and you want to know what level I'm playing on, I am playing on tour level, so pretty much as hard as you get from a preset level. Um, you can, I think you can still make the swing a little bit harder, which means that you, you know, you're swinging diagonally for those of you that have watched uh, some of the Tiger videos um, or watched, you know, that have played Tiger Woods. Um, but this is, I've left it as it is. I have also, what else have I done? Um, there's something else that I've done. I can't to me in a minute. Um, yeah, ball trail I've switched off because I don't particularly like that. I think that's a little bit uh, gimmicky. I've switched that bit off. Um, yeah, and you also don't get any kind of zooming in functions, so you don't get to see where the ball's going to land. You can't zoom to the landing area, and that's why you see that I very often look at the overhead shot. It just... Uh, allows you, see you can't, when I'm pressing the zoom button, doesn't work on here. You have to look at the overhead shot and look at all the yardages for the hazards and so on and so forth and work out you, where you're going to play your shots. So if you want a better view of it, you know, you can press the R1 button and it gives you a higher point of view. So you've got that one there is the highest and you can see that's going to be, should be if I hit it straight in fairly good position if it bounces back in okay so that didn't work out well at all i thought that was going to be in the heart of the fairway there but didn't quite make it into that uh, that gap so 107 but we're in the rough here so i'm going to leave that at about 111 it's going to move off to the right because of this slope I'm on. That's 
It's going to give me a birdie putt. We're on hole number 16, so a couple more to play after this. Made a little bit of headway, five under par for the round, so not setting the world on fire like I did in round number one. But it should be enough to keep me in the lead of the competition. Ten shots clear of Spieth, who's through 18, so he's in the clubhouse, leader in the clubhouse. Alright, we've got a nice big par 5 here. Make sure we don't run out of fairway. Mind you, it's 155 feet downhill. Wow. And we still run out of fairway, 368 yards, 350 yards carry, so that was in the air. Elevation changes in this game are nuts. So 175, 13 feet, so that's four downhill. We got a little bit of, uh, we're in the rough, 91 to 94, so that's going to affect play. That's the other thing that you get in tour mode. You know, all of your lies and your... You know, whether you're in the rough, you know, elevation changes, whether the ball's above or below your feet, that all affects your shot. So you have to take all of this into consideration. It just makes it more of a thinking game. You know, it's not just arcadey. Um, don't get me wrong, arcade's cool for some people. I just, I just find it a little bit, you know, I don't want to be shooting 25 under par. You know, I want to be shooting realistic scores. And if I can do it on a fairly tough level, then that's even more rewarding for me so yeah I'm happy to play as it is oh that was for eagle I'm happy to play as it is on the tour mode or tour pro whatever it's called tour but um, yeah it's different strokes for different folks I don't get me wrong I don't begrudge anybody wanting to play that uh, that kind of level but um, this is what I like to play and all the guys that I play with you know online like to play on this particular level as well so it's pretty cool for us all right, need to be careful here because I don't want to run out of fairway. That is 244, the nearest point, 269. I'm going to come down one more. I'm going to be smart about this. Make sure I don't run out of fairway. Really close to the edge. Oh, it wasn't as close as I thought. It's slightly uphill over there. 19 under par, 6 under par through 17 holes. Let's see if I can get this nice and close. So that's another 4 yards on to that. So let's have another 1 because I have been overhitting. And I didn't overhit on that one and it's going to come up short. That's Sod's Law. Mind you, that's going to be about 11, 12 feet for a birdie. to finish off with the birdie take me to a nice round number of 20 under for the tournament 20 under for the tournament 7 under for the round 13 under on round number 1 65 final score today <coughs> excuse me Spieth shooting a 67 a little bit of progression there on my golfer and it's going to simulate the rest of the round based on my attributes but yeah Spieth and Kaim are still second and third respectively and it's Dustin Johnson there that's uh, following up behind Paul Casey. Guys thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't checked out the other videos in this series there's three prior to this one so be sure to check them out if you like them hit the like button subscribe to the channel and any comments feel free to drop it in the box right below and you can see there that I knew it was coming and next round's going to be interesting, 10 to 15 mile an hour wins. So be sure to tune in for that. That video will be coming up shortly. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.